Meanwhile, NASA announcing a hand-picked team selected specifically to study UFOs and report back to us, the public. 16 experts will begin their analysis tomorrow, looking at data from hundreds of UFO sightings. The group includes all kinds of expertise, from astronomy to computer science to journalism, plus famous astronaut Scott Kelly, who once held the record for most days in space. Then they will share their findings with us next summer. So Avi Loeb is a professor of science at Harvard University. Thank you so much for being here, Professor Loeb. Thanks for having me. What are you hoping will come out of the UFO researching team at NASA? Well, NASA will look at, an, uh, at the unclassified data and, you know, astronomers look at the sky all the time, but they focus on very distant sources. And uh, it's quite natural that military personnel will be the first to notice unusual things in the sky. Now commercial pilots also report about them. There was a stigma on this subject, and it's about time for science to figure out what these unusual objects are. Are. It may be a mixed bag, but um, uh, I, uh, about a year ago, founded the Galileo project where we plan to use scientific instrumentation to collect new data and figure out what, what we're seeing out there. Yeah, the Galileo project sounds fascinating, and I'm glad you bring up stigma because I wonder, are we living in this time where UFOs are becoming less stigmatized? Uh, NASA launching this team. Uh, we know Harvard researchers, Harvard scientists are getting to uh, unfetteredly look at this. The Pentagon saying that it, uh, it reports it receives sightings uh, that are frequent and continuing. Is stigma just getting less and less around this topic? Right. We have better instruments now than we had decades ago. And frankly, it may well be that uh, the evidence was not as clear before. And now uh, the intelligence agencies report to Congress that there are things they don't understand. And of course, the government is not a scientific organization. So I think it's the duty of scientists to get engaged and help the government. Also, the public is extremely interested. So why would we ignore these, these observations? And let's figure them out. And it, you know, if we find that they are human made or natural, so be it, we will move on. But if it happens to be extraterrestrial in origin, then that would be very exciting. And well, once and for all, you are a respected professor at Harvard. Do you think UFOs are real? And do you think there is other intelligent life out there? I'm sufficiently intrigued by the existing data to invest a lot of my time. And try to figure it out. You see, science is based on evidence and we need to find more data in order to clearly uh, infer what these objects are. As an astronomer, I also noticed the objects that came into the solar system and do, do not look like the comets or asteroids that we had seen before. That's what brought me to this subject. So, you know, it's possible that there are probes visiting the solar system and we just need to look at them and figure out what they are. That was a very smart answer from a smart man. I'm going to ask you one more time. If you were a betting man, knowing what you know now, do you think UFOs are real and extraterrestrials exist? Um, yeah, I mean, if I <laughs> yeah. had to guess, I would say probably there are or there were in the past objects visiting us that are technological in origin. I would I would place my bet on, on yes. I appreciate you uh, playing ball with me. Professor Loeb, thank you for your time. A Galileo project sounds fascinating and can't wait until next summer when we hear uh, from this NASA team. Have a great evening.